Hey guys, so I wanted to come to you today with a video on Joann's Fabric Vinyl. Not the HTV, not the heat transfer vinyl, but the regular permanent vinyl versus the Cricut vinyl versus the Cricut premium vinyl versus the 651, I believe is the name, 651 vinyl. So yeah, no, that is the name, guys. It is 651 vinyl. So I will tell you... Well, I'm going to wait till the end of the video to let you guys know which one is my favorite. You might be able to pick up on which one is my favorite throughout the video of me explaining it to you guys. So, keep watching. So, the first um, vinyl I will talk about and I will show you um, some of the art that I made with it is this sign. Now, this, and I have this attached to this because it's a coupon and I don't want to lose it. I had this hanging up um, by my door so I won't lose it or forget about it. But this vinyl is the 651 vinyl and by Orca, Oracle, something like that. I'll I be butchering words, y'all. So it's by that brand, 651 Oracle. So that is what this vinyl is. And this is the color gold. It's just a basic gold color. And I did pick this up from vinyl packs online and uh yeah don't don't shop at that place yeah i wouldn't recommend them but anyway in terms of the vinyl some of the things that i noticed with this vinyl versus the other ones is that it was inexpensive for each sheet which was about two feet in length each sheet was only about a dollar about a dollar so that or maybe a little bit more than a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty, but it was it was no more than two dollars. And sorry, I do not have the exact prices. I will try to leave it down below, or if you really want to know and I don't leave it, you can just um, message me and I will let you know what the prices is. But this is what it looks like. I mean, the picture is cute. You know, I really like the picture. The only thing about this vinyl is when I was using it, I had a terrible time weeding it. Um, it kept sticking to the white paper that was underneath that you peeled the vinyl off of. It kept sticking to that and it just made it really, really hard to, to weed and to put on the image. And then when it came to taking the whole image after I weeded it and I was taking the whole image off of the paper, it also was picking up the paper underneath of it. So I had to, once I took it all the way off and put it on my transfer sheet, I had to then pick off pieces of white paper off of the transfer sheet to, you know, be able to apply it on this. But this is the way um, the vinyl looks. And it is a thinner vinyl as well. So I did go ahead and place some on my glass, which I do have another video of removing and applying vinyl to glass on my channel. So check that out. But I did go ahead and apply this to my glass. I have not did a video of removing this vinyl from the glass. The vinyl that I was removing was the Joann's brand vinyl. So I will do another video with comparing how this one removed versus the um, Joann's brand vinyl. But I have a suspicion that this one is going to be a lot harder because this one is a lot thinner. And with the Joann's vinyl, because it's thicker, it's easier to grip. And when you grip it, it's, you know, it peels off nicely versus just being so thin, if that makes sense. So, but that's just my, my hypothesis. I have not tested it yet, so we will see how it's going to work when I go ahead and attempt to do that. The second vinyl that I used was the Cricut, no. This one, this is the Cricut vinyl. Oh, uh, my hands is all full. So this is the Cricut vinyl, and this is the Cricut premium vinyl, which also is a lot thinner, and it has a very, very glossy feel. It does feel like a premium vinyl or premium. It feels a little different than their typical one. I really do like, like how it feels, though. Um, it is a lot thinner, so I don't know how it's going to peel off. I know just simply trying to peel it off of this is not very easy. So I don't know how it's going to do when I try to peel it off of my windows or glass. And I do have some of this as well on my glass. So I will do a video of that 
showing you how well that one does versus the Joann's. But so this is that. And I will say that I like this vinyl. I don't have any complaints. It is more expensive than the 651 vinyl. Um, this one price, I did receive, I did purchase it when all of their, at Joann's, all of their vinyl was $5. And I want to say that, well, I paid $5 for it, but I believe the price was like $12, $10, $11, something like that. So this is the Joann's fabric, not Joann's, this is the Cricut Premium Vinyl. And they do have more colors out now. When I went, their color selection was not very big, but I believe it was a new product. So I'm sure that they have a lot more colors now at this time. So the last vinyl, that, and I don't have anything on that same material, I apologize, but this is the last vinyl piece that I have, and this is the Joann's brand vinyl, and they do have a wide variety of colors, at least when I went they did, I don't know if they still do and what, um, what the different case, but as you can see, <coughs> they have some, <coughs> excuse me, they have some metallic, some shimmer, and some um, flat non-gloss colors. Now this vinyl is a lot thicker than both the um, the Cricut vinyl as well as the 651. I would say this is the thickest, and then the basic Cricut brand vinyl, and then the Cricut Premium, and lastly the 651. I had no problems when I cut this vinyl out. I had no problems weeding this vinyl i had no problems with removing the vinyl from the glass it removed with such ease but as well as it stuck to that glass there was nothing that was going to get it from sticking to that glass unless you physically removed it off which is great for me i did make some um window decals for some other daycare owners and i did use the 651 vinyl as well as the Joann's vinyl. So I'm hoping that they, they plan on leaving those images on their windows for a long time because like I said, as I'm expecting, I don't think they're going to be as easy to come off as this one is. But so for the future, I will only be using the Joann's brand vinyl for um, like wording and images and that type of thing when I am working with clients and as well as working with myself. I do prefer it. The price point for a pack of six, which each pack had um, 24 inches. For a pack of six, if you catch it when it's buy one, get one free or 50% off, it ends up being $20 for a pack of six, which is a great price because um, how much does that break down to uh, go ahead and add? Because I don't want to say the wrong thing, but um, not that I don't know how to add. I just don't feel like sitting here doing that right now. So anyway, the six packs would be $20. Um, and like I said, they have 24 inches in each pack and that's for the basic colors. Now for the, um, metallic colors and this color, each pack is $60, but half off would be 30. Whereas the basic colors is $40, half off would be 20. So this is actually my favorite. This is the one I would recommend. Um, and that's basically it. So if you have any questions, any thoughts, your experience with them, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I thank you guys for watching. Please check out some of my other videos. Like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.